talking about shit, man. Since I got since my shit dropped and shit, man. See, niggas got real quiet when that shit dropped. Before that shit, niggas was talking all that, talking all that shit, man. Sitting me down, and all this other weirdo shit. So I got to talk my. Ah oh, man, so shit, man. Y'all had about forty three k in about I think what about a week or two. You know what I'm saying? Since the battle dropped, man. Um, yeah. What's, yeah, what? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's going on two weeks now and shit. Yeah, we had we had forty, yeah, forty three going on forty four almost. Then yeah, they're gonna be fifty by the end of the money. She by the uh, money, she's gonna be down there. 50. Okay, okay. So for you, man, like you know, you finally got that PG drop. You've had about I think four PGs this year. Total? Yeah, four. Yeah, four. Yeah, four. And back to back, like every every month, April. Yeah, March, April, May, and June. Yeah, man, you've been really working on that URL side of the game, man. So talk to us, man. You finally got the drop. How you feeling about uh -huh. the drop now that it's out, man? What's the response been like? I've been I've been getting a very like great response and shit. You know what I'm saying? Very good feedback all on my Twitter. Be flooded every other day about fuckers I need to be battling and my my why I need to be in a higher position and shit like towards like the battle rap shit. Not just not saying like I need to battle some top notch ass better no bullshit like that. Cause niggas be getting niggas word misconstrued and niggas be saying that out of context and shit. Niggas ain't be saying that like nigga need to get like you know what I'm saying move a, a step above the PGs. Cause like nigga I was before all that because I'm just saying was I'm just gonna say was facts before this PG drop niggas was running with like Billy just beat my ass. It's real shit. And the battle come out. 80% of the motherfucking fans on the comments and motherfuckers on Twitter got me three on this nigga. Let me know when I'm lying. Nah, I, I definitely been seeing comments, you know what I'm saying, talking that shit, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Let, I, yeah, I yeah, 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 let me know because niggas quote, been, they been yeah, receptive niggas quote, to niggas quote, style. That's what I've been seeing a lot of people yeah. comment on was your style has been translating very well on that camera. Yeah, like, I, I'm like I said, because I'm, I'm considered, like I said, I consider the, a punch rock. I'm gonna consider the nigga. You really gotta like you. You might not always catch it in the room and all that shit all the time with me. Cause I'm I I definitely definitely take my time and just like write my shit and I and I watch Billy battles and I'm looking like okay, let me watch Billy. I'm gonna watch Billy versus Rum Nitty. Me being a puncher, I'm okay. If Rum Nitty haven't said this line a bit, this Billy flip, it hasn't been said because he's one of the elite punchers ever in the game. So I watched them battles. I watched all the rest of his joints. Niggas ain't really doing no Billy. Boondocks flips like that, so that's what I like. This. I'm like, niggas ain't said this life flip yet. Shotgun next to Billy, like these white only pies. And niggas talk about setting up moments and doing that. Nigga, I did that. You know what I'm saying? Niggas talk about, okay, you need to have moments and you know what I'm saying to be able to get out the PGs and you know what I'm saying, no captivate the crowd. My nigga, I'm, I'm, I'm in Arizona by myself. I come every time I come to my PGs, I'm down myself dolo and I'm on camera shaking the whole room. Like, nigga, my first round is flawless with the rebuttal. Do you think? Let me, let me ask you this. Do you think like? All right. Do you feel that people were overlooking you in the fact that maybe because you're traveling to somebody else's region, they're kind of giving that person a little bit more than what they give you, or do what you just feel like you had to work a little extra harder in the building just to go ahead and get that crowd? Like, yeah, you always it's like. Man, no matter where I went, bro, like, cause I done been literally every city in battle, in battle, big names and niggas that ain't big name. And when that being said, my niggas always gonna be a little bit of bias somewhere. It's not gonna be all, but they just gonna present it. Unless you already like super established and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's not gonna be always. Even even with them type of niggas, even look, 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 look at Danny. Danny beat the shot at T-Rex in New York, who really talks about it. Because Danny's a West Coast nigga and he's not from that region. If Danny was from New York, he'd be looked at as Lux. How many niggas right now That's back to fact. back battling like Danny Washington? Back to back battling like Danny Washington niggas, bro. Washington niggas, no, bro. Ain't nobody fact. that. Ain't that's nobody real. doing that. Ain't nobody doing that, bro. He battling. He taking niggas on at Rucker Park and taking niggas in the NBA and putting up fifty every time, bro. So with that being said, bro. It's always gonna be a little bias and it's somewhere like but like I said, I don't never complain. You never see me get online and be like, oh niggas was biased or no shit like that. Bro, I come in there with my shit all the time, bro. Dolo. And niggas see me, if you watch the battle, niggas see me shaking that room up. I had nitty them going crazy off my shit. And that's a puncher. You know what I'm saying? Danny just yeah. put me in his honorable mentions of punchers, of his of, of his puncher punches, niggas that got the pins was, and shit. Was, was, after he did his top ten. Yeah, no, I was just about this I was just about to mention that, bro, because you mentioned earlier like a lot of people look at you and they classify you as a puncher, but Danny was, 
you know, mentioning you as one of the best new pins in the game. Like, your penmanship is right. very dope. So, that was something that I seen that I felt was dope, man. Danny, you know what I'm saying? He's always reaching out to the up-and-comers, man, and, and giving game and shouting y'all out, man. Like, how do you feel, man? Because I know that that's somebody who you respect in the culture, man. He's recognizing yeah. your pen. Not even just the punching, but recognizing the writing ability, man. Like, how did you feel about seeing that? Yeah, I, I feel like I definitely let me know I'm doing something right and that's why I'm definitely even when you feel like you deserve more you say when people acknowledge you that have been in the game and people that you look up to and shit as like I said for inspiration and like I said as like you know what I'm saying to get to that level because a lot of niggas see niggas getting opportunities or getting these type of like you know what I'm saying these type of get good battles and you know what I'm saying and you feel like damn what am I doing wrong and then take it like I get I see that type of shit and I get motivated. I don't start hating. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when your nigga see you in a like see and then the nigga see you in the bins and he wants the same bins. Instead of working for it, a nigga try to go rob you because he's hating. A nigga that wanna get this shit, he gonna work for it and get it. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, that's what I, I go about it, but I get motivated by it. And I just go on and try to write the next 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 level stuff, you know what I'm saying? And just try to keep on getting that type of like I said, recognition and things like that. Cause even Nitty going crazy in the battle. Why, why, why we battling, you know what I'm saying, for my, some of my bars and stuff like that helps the situation, too. Nah, that's real. That, that's a fact, man. So, you're you're one of the up-and-comers coming out of Milwaukee, right? Yeah, the Midwest, yeah, along with uh, Mid, 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 J. Lopez. If you are J. Lopez, you already know uh, my guy Bankhead. You know Bankhead. And you know, like, coming out of Milwaukee yeah, in the Midwest region. I heard that. So, like, what was it like for you, man, coming up? In Milwaukee, man, because, you know, the Midwest, a lot of times, like, especially during the original Midwest movement, it was kind of looked at as, like, Detroit, St. Louis, you know, like Pontiac, like, they didn't really have too much, you know, Chicago as well, but they didn't really have too much representation on the highest level, like how you guys have now with yourself, Bankhead, um. Yeah, so I'm seeing a couple of others that I've been seeing. Man, Killer like B, Jay Lopez, yeah, don't take people like that. So, like for you coming up, man, what was it like in Milwaukee for you? Man, it was like basically like man, you know, coming from because I started in a league for Art of War four one four. We had like dungeon battles, which is AKA the basement, and I came from battling the basement and outside. You know what I'm saying? To battling on spit that he like Milman Blow came back to Milwaukee and Blow picking me up and you know what I'm saying, giving me his knowledge and. You know what I'm saying? Dropping shoes on me, you know what I'm saying? And, and like, I never, like, when I won game or I came in a came up in the game, I never asked for, like, like, like money or anything like that because, you know, the shoes and all that stuff is more important than me. And, you know, like I said, I got a job, so I, I'm not stressing about that. So it's like, I just, I just, you know what I'm saying? Wanted to get to the next level. And, like I said, me working in Milwaukee, you know, like, the people didn't, like, if you're not really into, like, really seeing this shit, like, bro, niggas don't even know black people live in Milwaukee, to be honest with you. So it was like, niggas just know the Green Bay Packers and the Milwaukee Bucks, and that's about it. But when you come in there and know it's a whole scene full of dope ass individuals and shit, you know what I'm saying? That's been coming out of here. And as, as a recent, the Midwest been getting a lot of light, no matter if it's Chicago, Milwaukee, Detroit, uh, Cleveland, like, you know what I'm saying? Kansas or things like that, like Indiana or anything like that, bro. We've been getting a lot of exposure and a lot of light. And me coming from Milwaukee, like I said, this doesn't really happen for us too many times. The last time you've seen a person, Two people come from Milwaukee or Wisconsin. His last people was Tone Montana and GE. That was like seven years ago. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it was like this type of, you know what I'm saying? This whole type, it took us, it took us seven, almost seven to eight years to get a, back, some exposure back on the city. And that started off with people like me venturing out on the West Coast, fucking with Yak and Nico and KG and them out here and shit on the URL West and Bankhead going out there and making this thing on the East Coast with Band Legacy and stuff like that. And then me being uh, honored to give a shot by Pete, getting on Band Legacy too. And like I said, I was able to, like I said, expand my my, my name and my things going on. You know what I'm saying? When you first see me at the scheme battle, and then I made an event at the PG out there in Arizona. And y'all seen that drop, so y'all see how good I did. And then me doing a fixed battle on uh, West Coast again on June 29th. So it's like I said, it's been a whole tough, like I said, it's been a tough road going here. And it, like I said, this only still the beginning. It's going to get tougher, but I ain't going to, like, I'm going to take it with a grain of salt, bro, and just keep moving. You feel like that, you know, coming up in that environment in Milwaukee, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I got people out there in Milwaukee that kind of told me about, oh, like, the energy of the city and whatnot. And, 
you know yeah. what I'm saying? Then you you transition to the battle rap side. So even the away from battle rap and the battle rap scene and having to put in that yeah. extra amount of work to get seen. Do you feel like that, you know what I'm saying, developed anything in you like, yo, you know what I'm saying? And being able to handle any environment, already being battle tested, like cause you guys yeah, had because to work you know, it, extra to go ahead and get what you got right now. Yeah, yeah, like you know, when you like I said, you coming from here dealing with like y'all said, y'all from LA, so you already know the gang stuff and already and out here we 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 it's, it's we, we bang streets and shit like that. It's not pretty much colors because we only have GDs and vice lords out here. We don't have bloods, crips and you know, all rest of like I said, all the gangs y'all have. So it's like we deal through everyday life and like we wanted like the most dangerous cities when you look it up and it's like we go through that type of stuff everyday life and dealing with that and like i said and then going through the battle rap shit and still trying to keep a like i said deal because these are two different lives like do people really even know like you got your regular bullshit that go in your life then you got the battle rap bullshit that you just can't avoid because it's just going to come with the territory Story, just like life so it's like you know you got to go through that and then you got to go like i said you got to get your shit right man you got to go to work you got to take care of your kids you got to know what i'm saying man find then you got to find this time to write all this fire shit and then it's not like you perform in a song where you can just rap the same shit and you know they're gonna just say the words you can half ass you gotta yeah. write new material every time you know what i'm saying so it's just a it's a different you all however everybody with their critiques and their predictions and their their dislikes for you because you're not from a certain region no matter if it's the north west east or south you know what i'm saying saying you gotta gotta come in there and just try to prove it wrong every time it's a lot on the battle of the brain you have to go through that people really don't i feel like a lot of fans that ain't really just half ass in it don't really understand what we have to really go through i mean we know y'all we here because y'all because y'all pay for the tickets and things like that to see us but you gotta understand how many times we have to really we have to impress y'all a lot bro and sometimes it takes a lot to even write this shit to, to get through our regular life that's, you know what why I'm saying? I, that's why I jumped in the ring, bro. I got six battles logged in in the last year. I got in the ring specifically so I could see exactly what it is a battle rapper go through. Because I used to talk shit like, man, preparation ain't that hard, man. Man, coming up with material right. ain't that hard. Writing, like, y'all being lazy, man. Y'all trash. I used to talk a lot right. of shit until I had my very first battle, and that shit humbled me quick. Yeah, you know I'm saying? They call yeah, you, like, man, you oh, it's, it's time for you to battle first battle in i'm like damn i damn near forgot yeah. my material you yeah. know what I'm saying? i had to run off real quick and spit it real quick to make sure i i remember what i knew i remember you know what i'm saying and it got to the point where right you gotta exactly really, like you got to find that balance with it too man like being able to write taking care of your own personal responsibilities then when you represent an entire like city where like you one of the ambassadors of that city i'm pretty sure that's a whole nother level you know what i'm saying Cause yeah yeah it, it just, like, yeah yeah like because me like like to be because because at, 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 at like at the moment like we have people like that just got on the url like like the act uh like the j lopez is and killer bees and shit like that and but at the fight at, for the last like year or so like i said the front runners the milwaukee and like i said i probably really top five niggas in midwest really a part of that is me and bank kid so it's like you know what i'm saying then we coming over like because i can i'm the first milwaukee nigga to ever go on to another region because all niggas is used to fucking with norms and them on the east i'm the only nigga that went with on yard side of the side of the map and, and, and made a name for myself you know what i'm saying so like with that being said man just open up a new like i said whole region and different different vibe and everything like that even went back watching y'all pg uh y'all pg uh section and then watching the different i always feel more comfortable like watching y'all because i feel like the east just always had their own like picks already no matter what it was like i always felt like y'all division was more fair when even watching it nah that nah that's a fact man it's definitely like the west when i say it's like to me bro the west is like that one neutral place where any it don't matter where you from as long as you dope you gonna get that love if it's not yeah, dope, yeah, if it's I, not I, dope I they gonna be quiet they ain't gonna boo you. You know what I'm saying? The other reasons might boo. But they, Out well, here, we don't really get down with the boom. We just we it's neutral. You come over here and show love. A person from out of town could be smoking a West nigga. We not finna be biased. We finna show that love. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Yeah, um, yeah, exactly, exactly. Like I said, I I ain't never had no problem like that out here with y'all. Like I said, I'm out there in Arizona by myself, whole bunch of West Coast niggas. You know what I'm saying? I'm shaking a room. You know what I'm saying? I'm shaking all my my rebuttals hitting all that. So like I said, being said, like I said, I, I definitely. I had to say, appreciate you, KG, and all your niggas even opening your arms, even embracing me, or even, like I said, accepting me, if, like I said, on the West Coast, like y'all have. You know what I'm saying? So, that's why I told you, I definitely appreciate it. And like I said, I'm just trying to move forward and, like I said, and rock with who rock with me because I go where I'm celebrated, not tolerated. 
So it's like you're saying, like, on this side, it's just like I said, I feel more accepted. Nah, definitely, definitely. So for yourself, man, because, you know, so I, I've had a you know conversation with you when I finally got to meet you at Civil War II, man, before you battle Fix. Yeah. And, you know, lis listening to you talk, man, it definitely seems like you have a, a certain hunger when it comes to this battle rap shit. Like, you're not really just doing this, like how other people, they might be doing it just for the attention, for the views or the mentions. No. Like, you actually like have a real hunger just to get out there and rap. You know what I'm saying to represent where you from. Uh, what are your 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 like your goals in battle rap? Like if you just like okay, this is what I'm trying to accomplish with this man. Like what's that one thing you like, man? This is what I'm trying to get out of battle rap for sure. I'm trying to get out of battle rap because, like I said, I also do music too. It's like I'm also like not just from. I'm a nigga that like will do. I will do. I give 100 percent of battle rap and 100 percent of music. Like I got music all on Apple Music and Spotify, all that. And I got a website and all that. LLCoogie.com. I'll be posting it in the uh, Western Conference Group. I got all that shit. I got merchandise, kill switch shit coming up, and all that type of stuff. So I'm doing that to open up a whole uh, avenue. Like you know what I'm saying for my music and and also the battle rap stuff. And like I said, also, like I said, my goals of battle rap, like all, on top of that, it's like I said, that to get them, like I said, them dream matchups and them big stays, like appearances, like the Summer Madness is, the Traffics, the, you know what I'm saying, the, uh, like I said, it's more like the Born Legacies and, and stuff like that. Like I'll be honored to battle, like I said, like people like Danny and, you know, Disaster, you know, uh, like I said, the Saurus, you know what I'm saying? A lot of West Coast legends. I feel like a lot of people don't really give the Soros the credit of being like a legend, legend. You know what I'm saying? For real, because I, I would love to battle the Soros and people like that. And, you know, uh, Eel Mac and, you know what I'm saying, B. Dot and other people, like even people on the East, you know what I'm saying? That, that's that dope and shit. Like, so, like I said, I want to make them appearances on them cars, like be on them pay per views and avocado, you know what I'm saying? Do what he do on there, like, and you be appear on there. It's like a real dream for dream come true, especially when I first seen my first trailer when y'all did the first trailer for the uh Denver joint and I finally seen my name like it's people that was just so proud of me because like they seen my name finally get to see my name on a trailer you know what I'm saying with, with smack voice and the intro and all like, like that that's you know what I'm saying me, niggas sit back and, and watch, watch this shit for years and actually have your name on this shit it definitely definitely feels like a, a dream control like you definitely your work wasn't going like I said unheard or unseen nah definitely definitely um I, I know you mentioned, you know what I'm saying, like, oh, I would like to battle this person or this person. I, I got to know, though, man. We, we, we got to get to the real of this, Kooji. What's your hit list, man? Who are the niggas you try, like, you got, you trying to get these niggas the fuck up out of here? Like, who has to get up out of here, man? Who are you trying to line up with in that ring, man? Rue Bando gotta get the fuck up out of here. I'm gonna smoke him too. They tried to book him multiple times in Milwaukee. You can't decline it for me. We don't leave that alone. Ryder gotta get the fuck up out of here. I just hit him when a nigga just acquired about him. He told me, I kept telling Cool, you set it up. Nigga just hit you to set it up, bro. You talking about you waiting on URL. Okay, whatever, my nigga. So, with that being said, him too. Who else? Luke Castro gotta get out there. Really, all the DMV niggas gotta get the fuck up out of here, my nigga. Like, New Midwest shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm riding with the West Coast niggas too. Y'all niggas gotta get the fuck up out of here, my nigga. Y'all niggas only good in y'all region, my nigga. How many of them niggas retro seen step outside they region mm. and, 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 and shake some, my nigga? Like, this real shit though. How many battles Cuban got out of the motherfucking DMV or, or the East Coast? I'll wait. Mm. How many battles Rubando got out the East Coast or outside of We Go Hard? I'll wait. <sighs> I ain't got no rebuttal for it. Niggas got to start moving around, man. Niggas got to start traveling. <laughs> how, how Luke? How, 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 did, how have, have Luke Castro shook a room in uh in, in Arizona? Has he shook a room in L.A.? Has they shook a room in Houston? Has any one of them niggas been outside the section and shook a room, bro? Don't even, outside the comfort the, zone and shook a room. One, the one, the one I will say, man, because drugs came out here last year and battled Stewie, and he was getting his crowd reaction. No, so, yeah, drug, did, yeah, 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 and, 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 and I get at the and I get at the twerk, twerk and I get at the drug. Came out the rest of them niggas, twerk came out to Colorado as well. Shout out to twerk. Came out to Colorado. 
twer- and twer- only the only niggas in the Goonies that do that that do that thing outside that shit is twerk and goddamn uh and goddamn drugs. Besides so that, bro, my nigga, the rest of them niggas, man, them niggas spoon fed, bro. Like I told you, that band Legacy shit is spoon fed as hell, my nigga. Like my nigga, like bro, if we had a if we had an annual event in the Midwest that always happened in the Midwest, like band, my nigga, a lot of my people, like I said, would be be, be get, definitely get a lot of more exposure, my nigga. Them niggas is spoon fed as hell, my nigga. A lot of them niggas is ain't that good, bro. And only had that hype because there's a hype right there on the East Coast. Everything on the East Coast gets more exposure or much media because it's right. Same niggas, you get these niggas out they same element and see what happened. What Jack Boy get on in Houston and do? Want to jump in stage and fight niggas, bro? <laughs> yeah, now nah, that that was wild. That was one of the most wild things. So, I so saw what? Like so, that. so. You said what? I said that was one of the most wild things I ever seen in a battle. Like that was crazy. Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, now nah, you breaking up. Yeah, yeah, nah, I was saying that was one of the most crazy things I, I ever heard and seen in a battle was just watching them going to the crowd like that. That was wild. Like, come on, man. Like, how many trolls you, Nico, on the daily? How many niggas troll you, bro? And then nah. you be like, well, you ignore that shit, bro. <laughs> it, it's too like, many bro, to a, count. A, a nigga, <laughs> so you, you, t- you telling me this. A nigga say something from the crowd and you going to jump for First of all, you're going to mess up your bag. Your opportunity, cause a nigga said something from the crowd, bro. I mean, also I can't tell you, I can't tell you what you think disrespectful, or what your button is to make you uh, go off like that. But my nigga, I ain't finna allow no nigga to get. I, I, you, uh, he worked for that shit. He he talked his way into the known battle. You chase Jack that Jack job down that long. I know you was getting paid for it. So with that being said, bro, you gonna let a nigga mess up one of your biggest battles ever, bro? Cause he, cause cause a fan said something from the crowd, bro. Don't forget, they paid that money. They stupid because they paid that money to come see you just to heckle, bro. They the goofy. My nigga, you weren't supposed to let that nigga get, have that power over you, bro. At all, bro. That goes back to what I said, That's bro. Real. Jack Boy got hot. Jack, Jack Boy got hot in his comfort zone. Every time he got on the stage outside of Van or Virginia, he got smoked. Young Cannon in New York, smoked. And that was from a Midwest nigga, too. Houston, Jack Boy is Houston, <laughs> down, 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 down. Got smoked. Got smoked. I point every time, bro. These niggas ain't like that, bro. A lot so of them East Coast niggas ain't like that outside they section. So, so let me let me ask you this, man. This new Midwest movement, man. It are you guys trying to like revive what the original Midwest movement had, or are y'all creating something completely different than what they had? You said what? I said with the new Midwest movement, are you guys trying to recreate? The same energy and uh, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, kind of impact that the original Midwest movement had. Or are you guys creating your own kind of movement with the new crop of people right now? Yeah, we the new Midwest movement. It ain't like we just throwing out the old Midwest movement because the Midwest we wouldn't have a Midwest movement if it wasn't for Verb and you know what I'm saying and Ill and Hitman and Cal and them type of niggas. So like I said, we just carried with the saying it's a whole new wave of niggas, bro. That niggas need to see. And so happen we just from the middle of the map. You know what I'm saying? So we ain't doing nothing. Ain't no spearhead. Ain't no leader. Ain't no none of that. We just out here just you know what I'm saying, putting on and coming together. You know what I'm saying? Niggas like True Fo, Killer B, myself, Bankhead. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Multiple Piranha. You know what I'm saying? And, and like I said, and, and more other niggas that's coming out. You know what I'm saying? I like think J Lopez, my cousin Hullum, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? All that shit. We, 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 like I said, we coming out, like I said, we coming out swinging. Like, we let niggas know, like I said, we here. And my nigga, like I said, and like I said, Banky been making noise. I've been making noise on we the, on different sides of the map and shit. So, you know, we doing it. True folk making noise. You know what I'm saying? Killer B, J Lopez and shit. J Lopez got Bricks Belvy on, uh, on, and Ban, on, on, not Ban Legacy, but Born Legacy 8 coming up in Cleveland. You know what I'm saying? Fines, I've got my nigga Fines out there making noise. He just had his battle drop against Deuce on the app. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. And Fines been putting in work the last two years and shit. You know what I'm saying? But niggas out they time and he niggas gonna, niggas gonna feel the Midwest, my nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so that's when I be like, my nigga, niggas can die. You know what I'm saying? So if I be like, I say all oh, East Coast and South niggas and shit like that. West Coast niggas, I like I said, I treat y'all like family. Y'all embrace me. So I don't ever say no West Coast niggas and no shit. You know what I'm saying? Like that. So, you know what I'm saying? With that being said, like I said, all the rest of these regions, them niggas can definitely die. And we definitely moving. And we ain't running from no smoke. And you niggas know why I pull up. Nigga, I smoke 40 bars in Illinois. I'm not from Illinois. She's from Boston. I smoke bangs in motherfucking Minnesota. And either one ain't from there. My nigga, who else? I smoke Drake Dennis at Gate to the Guard on, in New Jersey. Facts. So, like I said, bro, like, come on, bro. We not, we not. Come on. And then we go back to that shit. Nigga, I got the best resume out of every PG right now. You got, what we doing? You, you said you got the best resume? 
out of every out of every PG right now. It, I don't care what coach you from. Do I gotta I gotta run the resume down real quick? I mean, I, mean, I, I know, got, I know, I know some of that resume. I know you got Stewie New. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, okay, I, 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 I got, I got, I got early Stewie too, fresh off there. the uh, Gotti and PGs and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Right off that. Okay, I got, I got Stewie New, forty bars. It's this niggas on URL that ain't got forty bars on this shit for real. Like niggas mid mid tier niggas, forty bars. Motherfucking uh, Prez Mafia, motherfucking Drake Dennis, QP. Quantum physics, one of the best pins in the game, no matter what a nigga feel about. Excel, right. one of the best pins in the motherfucking game. One of the best pins and one of the best freestylers in the game. And I battle GE2. That's eight right there. Mm. Who got a better record? Who can run that? Who 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 can who can right now? That's a PG. That's a PG nigga. Right now. Even niggas on Dan Legacy, bro. Who got a better resume than rap right now, bro? And, 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 and battle half of them names outside they city. On different leagues, I battled Dre Dennis in Gates of the Garden. I battled Forty Bars on Universal Bars in Peoria, Illinois. I battled Bangs in Minnesota. I bat only got three battles on my home league. Spit that heat with uh, Art. I battled QP, Stewie Newton, and motherfucking uh, and XL. I battled three names outside of that. All rest of them names go other leagues, bro. Shit like that. Niggas wanted to invest in me. I never paid for a name in my life, and I can call them the league owners right now online right now, and they can vouch for them. They paid for that. They invested in that. I done had nothing to do with that. So with that being said, when niggas talking about all you paying for names, all that, my nigga, I ain't never paid for a name in my motherfucking life. That's on my kid. So with that being said, my nigga, niggas already know what's happening with me. Niggas gonna get smoked. You step in front of me, I'm going a thousand percent. Definitely in my URL drop, I got a whole nother chip on my shoulder. I'm writing a thousand percent for niggas. That's like I'm sorry, like I wasn't before, but like I said, when you really, really, when you really want that shit, my nigga. You can't sit around, like I said, like I said, and, and, and wait for a motherfucker. I'm, I'm going to make my opportunity. I hit Nico up. I need to talk that shit. I'm going to be on all all of the uh, media this week. I got a, I got an interview with Tony Bone and the Black Compass tomorrow. I'm, I'm, wow, I'm going to be on Battle Rap Rankings. I got an interview with him. Black Compass. I got a, no, Black Compass. I got, and they one of the big people that embraced the Midwest. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like that. So, like I said, I, I ain't playing with niggas. Like, so, when I'm lying, niggas can stop me. They can tag me, whatever. When I'm lying. When I'm lying right now. My main points, when are any one of them East Coast niggas good outside their region? Like Verb say, all the niggas at the crib. All the time, the niggas at the crib. Them Verb and Hitman have made a Hitman. Even fucking Danny and them. Even before the West, the West Coast had their own division of PGs. Danny and all them niggas, they made they, they made their name on the road. And they still fighting on the road. And they still want to act like they don't want to get Danny and be dotted. Niggas like EK and they motherfucking respect. When honestly, honestly, them niggas, them niggas, all of the niggas scared, bro. Them niggas scared of this other side of the map, bro. The middle and the west, my nigga. Like, real shit. So with that being said, my nigga, niggas let me know when I'm lying. When I stop me when I'm lying, bro, who got a better fucking resume than LL Cool coming out this motherfucking PG? On the PG side of the game, I can't think of nobody for real, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of, a lot of it, too, man, is I feel like some of these dudes, and, it, and it's no knock to them, but I like some of them, they actually just if you want to call it trust in the process and they just battling exclusively on URL so they're not really taking plates elsewhere or if they do take plates elsewhere it's like local plates versus local dudes and there's nothing wrong with that yeah I'm saying but I think yeah, the fact it, that it, you've it, been it, in yeah, the no, ring no it's nothing wrong certain, with that I just the fact that you've been in the ring with certain caliber of people I feel like that's what that experience is what you see on camera you know what I'm saying? It's a little more polished. Right. It's a little more battle tested. You know what I'm saying? To some of the other people who maybe they don't yeah, that's, have that's, that's kind like, of challenges that, just yet. Yeah, it's like when, when you present. It's like when you when I bring. It's like when I you, you get a, your, your your child a, a Christmas gift. You gonna give it to him? Just like I'm just gonna go just get, get the toy and just give it to him, or you just gonna you gonna bring it to him and wrap it up and have him open it? And that's what I do. I bring it to niggas and I wrap it up for you. You gotta you gotta you gotta bring it up, present it, and that's what Blow did with Trez. T top Briz, you did with me too. You 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 you, you set these niggas in front of other niggas that had them battle tested. So when they already there, they already packed or sealed and delivered. Niggas like me, niggas like Bankhead, a lot of niggas like I said, they are we already coming already packaged. We we was popular before like URL. I was popular. I had a name battle rapping before I got to URL. Bankhead had a name battling before he got his first PG on Band Legacy. And that's real shit. Niggas can stop me when I'm lying. Nah, that's a fact. That's a fact, man. So, do you have do you have anything booked right now? Do you have anything coming up? You know what I'm saying in the culture? I got anything coming up. I just had another battle, a name, a name with a battle with a name that was going to get locked in on a, a small league. 
that ain't them not going through because of URL. They niggas waiting on URL like a lot of them niggas and shit. So with that being said, I'm I, and I'm, I'm just chilling. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm not on Band Legacy Eight in Midwest, but I, I should be. I get looked over for that too. You know what I'm saying? And then, like I said, I don't like I said. Well, I know Traffic Four coming up. I ain't got hit about that yet. But not maybe saying I won't. I maybe saying I will. But if I will, I'm gonna go fuck with y'all like I always do. You know what I'm saying? Like so, it is what it is. You know. So I'm just chilling, sitting out chilling. I ain't got nothing coming up right now. I'm just chilling. I'm sitting back. I'm still writing shit though. I got a whole five, six, seven minutes. A little one joint. I can break up in, in the three rounds and shit. Then write some. You know, I'm still writing shit though. You know what I'm saying? I don't ever sit around and just not do nothing. Still writing shit. I still got shit on deck. You know what I'm saying? KG them call me. If Yak them hit me, I'm, I'm with it. I'll be back back out there in LA. I enjoyed myself last time. LA beautiful. I ain't never seen palm trees and shit like that in real life. Cause on my side of the map, it's snow here, so we can't get that. Uh, I heard that. So. Let me ask you this, man. When it comes with the new Midwest movement, man, have any of the original members of the original Midwest movement, have any of them ever reached out to you guys at all and, like, you know what I'm saying, get uh, y'all in the game or anything like that? Only person only person I can say that's old Midwest that actually interact, like, on Twitter and shit, I say, oops. Besides that, I never, no, mm. nothing from Verb, nothing from Hitman, nothing from Hitman, nothing from Ill, and None of that. And then that was the issue before that I spoke on, like, like people from the West, y'all embrace y'all people. You know what I'm saying? Even if they subpar, y'all still speak of their name. Even with the East Coast, they can have an ass, a garbage nigga. But it, it's going to be 50 we go hard niggas behind and gassing them, though. But that's what it's about. It's about supporting your people. And I feel like a lot of uh, Midwest niggas don't go out their way and do that like I Danny do, like I Rock do, like I Surf them do, like how, like I said, the Goonies do, and all that shit, bro. Like being like y'all spoke about that in the group, like did disaster and Danny and EK and a lot of them West Coast people, you know what I'm saying? Being at the events and talking about it and spreading the word helps, bro. Whether me to know it or not, you can be dope as all you want to, but if ain't nobody, you can see some cold ass Jordans on the nigga feet right now. If ain't nobody else wearing the motherfuckers on the internet, bro, you think you you gonna think they not all that, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I, back to my point. Back to my point. I, I, I'm you talking so, that you, you know like a shit today, man. So talk your shit, man, Kooji. <laughs> the East Coast, the East Coast, like I told the East Coast niggas always validate their people, no matter if they subpar. Hey, you probably seen a nigga like, bro, this nigga ass, but walking them behind me, motherfucking goddamn ass behind him. All them niggas that, like I said, cave game behind them, Goonies, uh, NWX, or any in, any of that shit. You know what I'm saying? They they behind their roof for their people. That's what the East Coast do better than any other motherfucking region. They support their motherfucking people. And that's what every other region lacking in. Because I seen the same shit a couple months ago when y'all spoke on it. Like, more West Coast people need to be back in more of the new West Coast niggas coming up. And y'all was yeah. right about that. And then yeah, a lot of the niggas came to, a lot of, a lot of them, Saying niggas came to the battle support like Geechee came to host. Danny was there. Uh, RX was there. Uh, fucking uh, EK, he had the battle, but he was there supporting. Fucking Jaden Nightwing, all them niggas. You know what I'm saying? If you had niggas like Lasaurus, the source of uh, fucking D Disaster, Ill Mac, B Dot, you know what I'm saying? Just come to uh, just a P. You ain't got to be a big, big uh, card after it. Just come to support a card, bro. Same thing like verb in them. I mean, me not telling y'all to be on our dick or no pull on our dick or no shit like that or or or, or none of that. We trying to earn every strike we trying to get. But my nigga, don't you can't act like you don't see it's a new fucking whole new era of shit, bro. If we had more backing on the uh fucking on the like I said on the Midwest, we'd be definitely on a higher on a higher level. We get it, but we get, it need to be at a higher level. We had more, you know what I'm saying, backing from other other niggas. But we got a nigga right now that's on wilding out weekly. That gets a million views. If he came and came at least two events a year, if Verb is battle, nigga, the Verb got Lux and Murder Mook on his resume, bro. If he came to an event with Verb or Ill Nim and, and Oops and, and Calico and them, they all came to one PG event and supported, bro. That would fucking do a lot for them niggas just to tweet out one tweet, bro. All it takes is two seconds to make one. Oh, this nigga fired. That nigga fired. Y'all need to fuck with him at URL. The same thing East Coast niggas do, bro. That shit matters, bro, whether a nigga think it of it or not. That's like when Nike, that's like fucking uh, Giant Williams decide with Jordan. Jordan Jordan signing him just made his most shit more higher. Am I right or wrong? Nah, that's fact. Real shit. So with that being said, my nigga, like, you need that endorsement. That's the word I was looking for, endorsement. You can be fire already, but that extra endorsement gonna get you there. You know what I'm saying? It's like Nike with the motherfucking LeBron. He got a lifetime deal. 
that Nike LeBron already gonna be LeBron, but he got that Nike Lifetime deal, so that gives him extra with both of them. That both get them endorsement on both ends. So with that being said, my nigga, we all need that shit, especially niggas like me coming up, because we can only do so much rapping, because rapping is only one element of the skill. We gotta, we gotta fucking now, like you said, you no know, back then when we was watching Smack, it wasn't no internet, wasn't no fucking Twitter and. Facebook and all that shit, bro. Them niggas was battling on the corner, earning their respect. So now, nigga, you it's different. You gotta you know, fucking, you gotta be a fucking really is WWE. You gotta go in the ring, you do your thing, and also you gotta go out there and promote that shit. Get on cam, snatch the mic from me and Gene them, slap the hawk in the face, all type of shit. You gotta do all that just to promote your battle. So this just shit just not just about about rapping no more. So niggas need to understand that when they have opinions on other niggas or or other things like that, bro. Like niggas go through a lot just to please the fans, bro. Real shit. Man, I heard that. So here, I want to ask you this question, man, because I feel like with everything that you broke down, man, with that, this, this is what I want to ask. If you uh -huh. could, what's one thing that this new Midwest movement does well that you would like to see more of? And what's one thing this new Midwest movement is not doing or that they are doing that you you want to see less of so like what's one thing with the new midwest movement you want to see less of and then what's one thing you want to see more of with the movement what i want to see more of first and like i said coming together you know what the what's what broke the first midwest movement up and i'm not gonna sugarcoat it it's like niggas like verb them going to battle x factor and niggas battling each other and going against the grain against each other you know what i'm saying yeah, but the first midwest movement got and the first angle was to kill the east coast niggas and kill them niggas. You don't go. We, we that's what we doing. We already talked about that when when we when we got a little group chat and shit like that. We already established we not battling each other at all. They're not gonna put us against each other. You know what I'm saying? And call division. If we gonna battle, we gonna do it for the city. Same thing like this them did. No, don't, don't battle on URL to try to go eyes against against the West or West. Y'all take that shit to Cali where y'all from and and make that and make it a classic for Cali. Not a class to entertain no other motherfuckers to be a motherfucking uh, a divide and conquer situation, and that's what we I need to see less of. No divide and conquer, not 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 fighting amongst each other. Because like I said, we definitely more more do more damage together. The same with the West, the same with the East. You do way more damage together than apart, and that's what like I said, I want to see less of, and what I want to see more of is we going out and kill these other regions, not and stop having bickering and but amongst each other, no matter what group. No matter what league you in, no matter none of that shit, just come out and put on for the new motherfucking Midwest, no matter what part of the middle of the map you was. The same thing for the West. Put on for the West. Don't go out of here and have these niggas go in here and battling each other. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of niggas like battling for the sport and shit like that, but the main objective is to kill the East Coast. It's always been the East Coast, West Coast rivalry ever since Biggie and Pop. So y'all know how that rock already. Y'all gotta kill them East Coast niggas. I wanna see a disaster versus Lux. I wanna see a Danny versus Mook. I wanna see that shit. I wanna see a rock. Versus motherfucking uh Danny or no one of them niggas one day and shit. You got we we gotta see that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all go out there and kill them. Don't 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 fight amongst each other. Y'all wanna fight amongst each other? Y'all can do that on your home league. Make that bridge stay at the crib or or, or, or on your region. You know what I'm saying? I heard that. Nah, man, you talking that shit, man. So <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Real quick, I want to say again, Cool G, man, I appreciate you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Taking the time to call up, man, talking shit. You really talking your shit. This, this is that personality I be telling niggas about, man. When you when you got personality, bro, it, like just get on these media platforms, get on your Twitters, your social medias, talk that shit, man, because I'm telling yeah, you, I'm when people a, hear yeah. this shit, I'm telling you, it's going to change the whole visual. Niggas be like, oh, shit. Oh, 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 yeah, oh yeah, cause I, cause I, cause I, okay. I, yeah, I just did another. Yeah, cause I just did an interview that just came out the other day. I was, me and uh, Bank Kick went to go support one of the events in Milwaukee. You know what I'm saying? Us being like the, one of the, like I said, niggas out there get the PGs and shit, doing the PGs and shit, and coming out there with, with the niggas that's actually being, because Bank Kick shit dropped on uh, the app, and my shit dropped on the channel. My battle, one of the battles that dropped on the channel, had been dropped on the channel of lately, you know what I'm saying? Especially when they just got their million subscribers and, you know what I'm saying? We've been do doing numbers. So we the one of the top top two niggas in the city. So we need to go out and support these other niggas that y'all don't know about, that y'all need to know about. Same thing, like I said, Mike, my point before. So like I said, man, I'm just being, I'm, I'm touching all the media this week. I'll be on Black Cumbers tomorrow. I'll be on Battle Rap Rankings. I'll be, like I said, a lot of motherfuckers on Twitter in, in, in interviews and shit. Like I said, I'll be on all that shit. So you're going to be seeing a lot of interviews. And when Nico drop this shit, you can tag, you can name it, LL Cooley, talk, talk shots at Cuban, all the niggas. Talk about East Coast, West Coast, I'm a shit, my nigga. I'm on some shit, my nigga. 
I ain't just battle rapping no more. I'm gonna start talking because I don't do the typing, the Facebook internet shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I said in my last interview yesterday, I remember when it wasn't no, it was just MySpace. When no going live, you had to go live. You had to go meet up with a nigga. So with that being said, my nigga, I'm going a motherfucker. I'm talking all my shit. These niggas gonna stop acting like they don't see a nigga out here smoking niggas, bro. Like I told, you, I didn't, I, bro. I for the last, like I said, I didn't want all. Like by the day, look, look. If, if even if you got fix beating me, bro, it's, it's debatable. You can't even say, ah, fix beat me clearly. I won all my PGs. I beat Scheme. Niggas seen that on live. I beat motherfucking Pep. Niggas talked about that. 3 0. They were swept that in the rug. Why? Because it's the East Coast nigga. Pep is retired now, actually. And I beat Billy. Billy went around jacking on live like he, oh, I, I killed Coogee. I got a one off. He in a PG. What that tell you? That didn't mean shit, bro. That was a lie. I don't know how you got one, but you just in position, my nigga, because you didn't win. You lost. Why you think Billy ain't been talking shit? Billy just admitted that. Uh, you got that, Coogee. I know I got that, my nigga. I don't, I don't do all the internet shit. I'm going to let that footage drop. And when that footage drop, nigga, see how I'm rocking, bro. I three old pep, my nigga. The nigga sit up there and choked all three rounds, bro. Not my fault, my nigga. So at the end of the day, I'm winning my PGs. All I was missing, my nigga, is this right here, what I'm doing right now. Talking. Talking that shit, my nigga. I'm being unappreciated in a lot of situations. My nigga, I'm getting it the fuck in because when this battle dropped, my nigga, you know how many fans? Come on, bro. Me and Billy almost at 50K, bro. It only been out of two weeks, my nigga. Come on, bro. We passing all the recent PGs up, bro. Come on, my nigga. We ain't out here making. We almost said 700 comments, bro. Almost 600 some likes, my nigga. Me and Billy, like I said, Billy got his following. No matter what a nigga said about Billy, Billy got his motherfucking following. he been getting it in ever since disaster when he was Mr. ET and shit. So, nigga, and I was popular before you are real. So, to put two niggas up there together like that is going to do numbers, my nigga. So with that being said, my nigga, niggas better start running. I ain't ducking no smoke. No matter who you book me at, PG one off or whatever, my nigga. Oh, I get off the phone, Nico. I got. I need another PG, bro. You say say that one more time. What, what, what's up? I man? said, I, I I need. Do you think I need another PG? Because I asked the fans, they like no. I'm I did for. I think I'm you think a, I honestly need another PG. I'm gonna be honest. So now that I've seen two PGs from actually three PGs, I watched you and Scheme. Yeah. I think you were much better versus Billy than you were versus Scheme. So that was an improvement. Uh -huh. I watched you versus Fix. Okay. Yeah, you know I'm saying. I think you need to test that, that one off water. On, on, I, think, I, I think you need to test that one off water real quick, man. I, 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 yeah, because you know, you know, because you know, what I'm saying I, I got, I get on Twitter after the battles. You know, like I said, you you quoting the shit. Like I said, my 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 rebuttals. I'm, I'm one of the best rebuttalers coming in from the PGs too. Who rebuttaling like me? Also. I'm talking about full setups too, not just no one word and shit. You know what I'm saying? Just full setups too. I bro, I did a whole Friday rebuttal on, on on fucking uh Billy. That's off the top. Come on, bro. Like who doing that? So that's what I'm saying. Like bro, like come on, bro. I'm, I'm pulling up on niggas too. We can battle anywhere on URL. I'm gonna come dolo, my nigga. I, I do my shit, my nigga. Like rebuttals. Like you said, my third was the best third of the whole goddamn battle. I was, I was. Then I I spoke on the PG process in the third. Remember that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. I, I remember, I remember that portion. I remember that portion. I think, yeah, that's bro, you know what I'm saying. Drop two, you and fix. I think that'll be better on camera for sure. Hell yeah, you know what I'm saying. So with that being said, you know it was a lot. Like I said, a lot of a lot of shit that was in it. I was talking about. and definitely gonna be looked at on camera. So if they drop it, you know what I'm saying. Niggas gonna see what's going on, my nigga. So like I said, man, I need that one off smoke, and I'll take anybody. I ain't looking for no top tiers and no mid tier niggas. I'm looking for. Some, some great A smoke, my nigga, and I'm gonna come back out there and bless the West Coast again. This nigga just hit me. And I'm going in, man. Thanks, Nico, for the interview. Shout out to niggas, man. If any nigga wanna have another, go have go on get on here back again tomorrow. Have a debate. We can debate it. East Coast, West Coast, South, Midwest. We can talk about it. If you want a question or challenge, anything I just said today about me having the best resume at the PGs, about me having the best rebuttals, about me clearly winning my battle, my nigga. About like I said about the East Coast niggas not coming out their goddamn comfort zone, and the niggas having ten battles in the fucking East Coast and probably one out of three fucking years, my nigga. Then we can talk, bro. If you want to challenge, I'm, I'm any nigga challenge anybody. You want to come over here and debate it? We can talk about it, my nigga. I ain't have no smoke from no nigga. So my nigga. So anybody that want to let me is at the real LL Cool G Twitter at LL Cool G on Instagram. No same thing on Facebook at LL Cool G on motherfucking uh, Apple Music, Spotify, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? And on YouTube, LL Cool G will put LL Cool G in verses and then fuck with me, my nigga. I'll reply back. All that shit, my nigga. So if you want to have a discussion fact. with me, you know, we, we can get on the show and get, and get it in. Shout out to me. Oh, yeah. You go. What? Now, you, you, bro, you already know, bro. You welcome on here anytime, man. You know what I'm saying? Once again, I appreciate you taking the time to talk that shit. You know what I'm saying? Whenever you're trying to get up on uh -huh. here, bro, even if it's just to get in on the base, bro, you already know you're more than welcome, man.
Yeah, real shit, my nigga. I appreciate you. Shout out to Nico, West Coast Media, Yak, KG, Floss, all the niggas over there. You know what I'm saying? Y'all had faith and had, you know what I'm saying? Definitely had faith in me like a young nigga coming from a whole other region. Like I said, I appreciate all y'all for giving me a motherfucking chance to display my world, my talent to the world, my nigga. Like I said, and I definitely always be grateful for that. So, all right, I'm out of here. All right, gang. All right.